Hey everyone, so I think it's time for a bit of a change, but first, let's just get into this video. So I've come pretty deep into the forest today and well, I've just ended up at this really interesting spot with the river. There's just this kind of waterfall is just running down everywhere. The side I'm on right now is just a few small ones, but on the other side of the rocks, there's something big over there. Uh, I think this could be really interesting. There's a lot of options here for our compositions. So I've got a lot of looking out to do and trying to find something that works. But uh, today I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to come out for, so I've also brought my 300 millimeter so that I could hopefully get some shots of wildlife. Uh, I've actually, well, I know there's actually some moose around in this area. So what I'm really hoping for as the sun starts to drop, that maybe moose will start arriving in certain areas around here. I'll probably have to bike to a different spot. But yeah, this uh, location looks really really promising and yeah i'm also shooting on the canon eos r today so this is probably going to be quite an interesting one i'd really want to just i want to see how far i can push the camera as well So I've had to move a little bit higher upstream to be able to get across to the side I'm on now. And the water is just raging through here. It's really nice. There's just water going all the way down through the valley. And just above me here, the river kind of flattens out. There's quite a nice view actually going through the trees and you see a bit of the hills in the background. So there's some really interesting options for a composition here but I'm not entirely sure what I want to get yet. So I'm going to spend my time looking around until I can find a good shot. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot at F9 and at 1 50th of a second. Um, I kind of want to test how well I can get a shot handheld at that speed. Because uh, from what I know, the stabilization on the 16 to 35 F4 is actually pretty good. And also by shooting at 1 50th of a second, I'll add some motion into the water. I don't want to add too much where it starts looking all fluffy because it, it looks a little unnatural and I want to capture, I want to capture the water as it is. I mean, it's already moving so much and you're not really going to lose that with how much water there is and how much it is moving. So I'm just going to look around until I can really find that right shot. Come up a bit higher here now where the river has flattened out pretty much. I can see there's still some more kind of waterfall in the long distance. It's really nice up here. I, I mean, it's great to look at, that's for sure. But getting a photo right now has been, been quite difficult. The sky is very bright and when I'm trying to expose for the sky, the ground becomes really dark. So I'm losing a lot of detail because of that. Uh, but I, it's quite hard because I need to be able to get as much detail out of this as possible. I'm still shooting at f9 as well. And I've got my shutter speed at 1, 1 200 and, uh, and I've got my shutter speed at 1, 1 25th of a second. So, I mean, it's a, it's a good exposure, but I'm battling between the two uh, differences and the contrast and everything. So I just have to find a way to make this work. I think I'm going to go for a vertical shot as well, just to kind of follow the line of this river. There's a bit of grass that's coming out here towards the river as well. So I want to follow that 
and just get that out following out into the river. I think that might just make it look a little bit better. But there is a cloud that's covering the sun at the moment and if that was out, I'd be getting a little bit more sunlight on the ground and stuff as well, which would really help. So I might just wait here a little bit longer until the sun does come out. If not, I'm just gonna move on and um, see what else I can find. I, I think I might actually end up biking somewhere else and find a spot where I know moose might be crossing over and um, wait out in that kind of area. just past this hill that's just above here. And I need to find a way to get closer without them seeing me. Oh, but this could be, this could be great. Oh, goodness. So yeah, I need to find a way to get closer and uh, can see what happens. By the time I made it into this hill that I was trying to get to, uh, there was no sign of them. Uh, there's a lot of noise around here so I was thinking that something had spooked them and then I waited around a little bit because obviously I wanted to make sure and it seems that they had already walked quite far on the other side of the field and then suddenly I heard the sounds of them and they just flew over and that was it so they're gone and I'm, I'm pretty disappointed. I made such an effort getting here. I've been trying to take photos of them for so long. And the thing is, I know it wasn't me that scared them away because I wasn't even close to them when I got here. I managed to get a couple of photos of them flying over, but it's not exactly what I wanted. I mean, it's great getting flying shots, don't get me wrong, it is, but having them on the ground, walking around, and just seeing how big they are, now, that is a cool thing to see. But uh, I'll definitely be back, that's for sure. So I've decided that I want to change things up on my channel. I've been doing this now for just over two years and I feel like my videos aren't really going anywhere. They're a little bit stuck and I feel like I'm a little bit stuck too. Also, my kids have just started school. I've just gotten a puppy. So I'm quite busy. Plus I've been doing a lot of weddings lately. So I've not really had the time that I've wanted to to put into the videos and putting into YouTube really. And so because of that, I decided that I'm actually gonna be posting less, but I'm gonna be putting more effort into my videos and making, making them a lot better, just putting more imagery into it, making the videos look better, making the detail of the videos better, and just putting a lot more effort into making something more enjoyable to watch. Uh, maybe some of you guys have enjoyed the way things have been but I just feel like I really need to up the ante and I think the only way to do this is to put more effort in, put more time into it and taking longer before putting out a video. So this means probably not having a video out every week but when a video does come out it'll be better and that's pretty much my aim. If you are subscribed please stay subscribed because I really want to show what I can do. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy what's to come. Or otherwise, for now, I think I'll see you all next time. <laughs>